Hey, I, I gotta go do some errands in town today, and yes, I saw some product at Walmart yesterday I want to purchase. So I'm going to try again. I'll film my adventure and see what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs> I have a pacemaker. My pacemaker says no. Nah. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I covered this issue in a previous video, and I'm going to do a follow-up update for this particular program. And I also want to go a little bit more in depth of... I mentioned my encounters at these security sensors on the effect it's having on me personally and why it's causing so much pain. So let's get to the program and I'll show you guys my adventure and I did get some heather plants. So we're going on a follow up uh, kind of a research um, at Walmart. I was here yesterday and I came in through the tire department. It didn't ring. No, it did ring. Tire department rang. Came out through the same entrance I'm using today. It did not ring. Went in through the grocery one, the one that I always go into and I constantly get harassed. And yes, it rang. And then I came out through, I just bought a chicken strip and I came out through this same entrance that I came out yesterday. And it, even though it didn't pick me up going in, it picked me up coming out. And you'll hear the dialogue. I 
I have a pacemaker, my pacemaker sets it off. Oh, okay, you're okay. So your sensitivity set too yeah, no. high. Yeah, they, they all do. They do that for a bunch yeah. of reasons. They don't have pacemakers. Sometimes they'll be wearing something and it'll be. It'll be a key fob, but it needs to be calibrated correctly. Otherwise, you guys are going to get in a lot of trouble with yeah. your uh, feds. Americans with Disabilities Act. That's that's wrong. Yeah. Well, detained and harassed again, and you can hear my concern about their sensitivity on their machines not being calibrated uh, correct correctly. Yeah, and a good example is the one wasn't um, was set probably appropriately because it did not ring going in, and the other one rang coming out. So, and then being detained at those things, yeah, I started feeling the same feeling I had yesterday. But while I was in Walmart yesterday, I noticed these heather plants. I want to landscape my front yard, and they were an excellent price. So I went ahead and bought some heather plants uh, from um, uh, Walmart excellent price uh, they have good value here so I'm impressed with the value and the selection so otherwise other than the harassment um, at those things it's like it's annoying it's uh, and it, it hurts too it physically hurts when they detain me like that so suck it up and file reports Thank you for listening. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host from Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Thank you for caring about my adventures here. Stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Just click that share button, sharing my videos on your social media platforms. And also, um, be safe and be kind. I'm going to try to find a kind way to resolve this issue. Uh, today's Sunday. The store manager is probably not on there. I'd encounter a floor manager, and I don't want to talk to a floor manager. I want to talk to the store manager and have my bullet points that I can go over with them on and then leave that with them with um, information of a cardiophysiologist, or electrocardiophysiologist, uh, to explain and validate what I'm saying about the harm these things are causing me personally or even anybody with a pacemaker who is forced to linger within the electromagnetic field of these sensors and this is retail wide I mean it's everywhere uh, but again this is the only place that does this to me so I'm rambling take care <clears throat> now to explain and go a little bit in depth, this may be over the heads of some, but I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. In the previous show on this subject, I revealed to you guys I have a pacemaker. The pacemaker is what's setting it off. That's not the problem. Well, their sensitivity is set too high. Uh, Oh, too low, too high, however they sense it, you know, because they need to adjust and calibrate the sensitivity on this equipment down to the level to pick up their tracking devices in the store, not implantable medical devices. And here's where it comes to be a problem for me personally. Now, I understand there's people with cochlear implants with pain stimulators in their... Uh, um, torso uh, to stimulate pain in their or to stimulate their spine to keep it from being so painful. There's others with implanted medical devices that monitor and inject uh, insulin for blood sugar. And I've talked to some people, and yes, they the, their devices do set those things off because they're not calibrated correctly. Now here's where it gets tricky. With a person with a pacemaker, I am a monitor, cardiac rhythms monitor tech. That's my vocation I work at in the hospital. So now it lends me some a little bit of credibility on what I know what I'm talking about here. I also went to college and got a degree in pursuing the nursing program. So I have some, I have some information. Plus, I have a pacemaker. I work with cardiologists. They know better than me, but I know what I'm looking at when I'm watching a, a patient who has a pacemaker and that pacemaker is not 
functioning appropriately and it can cause problems. This is where it becomes a grave concern for me being detained at those sensors. I showed you in the handbook in the previous episode that the handbook says we are not to linger at those sensors in libraries or retail sensors, security sensors. We're not to linger there. There's a reason why. They emit an electrical um, um, uh, magnetic field that interrupts the pacemaker's ability to sense and capture. So what I'm saying is this electromagnetic field confuses the pacemaker thinking that it can't, it can't sense my heart beating. And if my heart is beating on its own and regular, I go through it and I'm delayed at that device. Now it's causing my pacemaker to not interpret my heart. It just starts beating at its intrinsic rate itself. So now my heart is beating irregularly. That's a problem. I've seen this happen on the monitors and we have to intervene medically. One of the issues is I've seen at work is it can cause an R on T. Your cardiac rhythms consist of P, Q, R, S, T waves. That's what they designated for measuring a cardiac rhythm. So when you get an R wave on a T wave, that can launch a patient's heart into a one of maybe three deadly rhythms, potentially deadly or harmful rhythms. One deadly rhythm is what we call torsades de pointes. Uh, that is, uh, it's French, it means twisting of the points. That needs immediate intervention, immediate intervention. Also, a pa it can cause a patient to go into ventricular fibrillation or VTAC. That also needs immediate attention. A patient will become symptomatic and perhaps become uh, unconscious because of the episode if their heart sustains I'm it. explaining this to you guys because this is important to me. This is really important to me and it's important for the message to get out to everybody and all retailers who are using these devices. Get your proper training at calibrating these devices appropriately because you're bringing harm to people, the community who have disabilities and have medical implants, especially pacemakers. It can also cause atrial fibrillation. And when it's, my heart is being confused at that moment while I'm being de detained in, within the sensor area, my heart is doing that. So if you have, what happens is you have four chambers in your heart. You have the left and right atrial chambers and you have the left and right ventricular chambers. And your heart pumps like this. It squeezes all the blood out down into your Eight, uh, ventricles and then your ventricles squeeze the blood out and goes out to your body or goes to your lungs. One side of the heart deals with the lungs, the other side of the heart deals with all of the rest of your body. Now those who are in charge of setting these devices or calibrating these devices obviously don't have a clue on the harmful effects they can have on an individual. My question is, how many customers have collapsed at those devices while they were being detained? And here's one of the reasons why. And this is what I'm afraid for me too, because I have a pacemaker. What happens is, if your blood doesn't squeeze out from the heart all the way, you've got a little pool of blood in the corner of your heart that begins to coagulate. Then when your heart recovers, you now have a blood clot it depends on what side of the heart you're on. It'll either go to the lungs, which will cause a pulmonary embolism, which causes shortness of breath and chest pain. Another one is it ejects, you know, the other half of the heart, it goes out to the peripherals, uh, your arms, your legs, your brain. A blood clot going to your brain can cause a stroke. That's why I'm bringing this to the attention of you guys. Be aware. Retail outlets who are using these devices also need to be aware on if their, their, their system is not calibrated accordingly. 
They're causing harm to people and irreversible harm. And it could even cause death. This is a serious, serious issue. And that's why I'm not talking about homesteading today. I'm talking about this issue because it's so vitally important. 